So 1.21 has been absolutely amazing so far, bringing us a bunch of cool features to the game. But while the snapshots has been rolling out, I haven't actually followed up on everything, only the basics, and I haven't actually played with many of the new features yet, especially the trial chambers. So I thought that today is gonna be the day that I try them out. I want to see what impact it would slash will have in the in survival world when you find one of these, how difficult are they to defeat, and what is the reward? It's time to find out. Keep in mind, I barely know anything regarding the trial chambers, so I only know like bare minimum, so feel free to come with feedback and suggestions down below in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Helps the channel out a ton. But let's now get to the game. All right, I'm in a cave. Whoa. But more specifically, here is a trial chamber down here deep beneath the ocean, actually. If we begin with just getting into spectator mode, I just want to show how big this thing actually is. And this surprised me, actually. I thought it wouldn't be this big, but this is a ginormous structure. Maybe even, I don't know if it's the same size or bigger than a stronghold, but this thing is absolutely ginormous. Like, wow. And there's so much to go through, and I'm very excited. If we look up here, you can see this thing is completely buried underneath the ocean. I'm not sure if you just stumble upon these, like, randomly, or if you can, like, get... I think I've seen you can get a map from a villager. You will have to let me know down below in the comments if that is true or not, or just me making up things. But anyway, if I was down here mining and caving and doing stuff like that, which a, a typical Minecrafter does, that's a mineshaft, then maybe I would stumble upon this. And when I do, the big question remains, is it going to be worth looting and all the trouble? Well, that is what we're going to be finding out today. So I have some basic gear here, very, very basic. It looks a little bit OP, but it really isn't. We have Unbreaking 3, just so the armor actually lasts a little bit. And I've gone with mediocre or medium enchantments, such as Protection 3 and not even Efficiency on the Pickaxe, Sharpness 3, Power 3, Sharpness 3 again on the Diamond Sword. I haven't gone with any like OP Netherite stuff and uh, things like that. We only have five golden apples, 64 stake, and a couple of torches because I don't know how dark this thing actually is going to get. But, so I get to stumble upon this. I looked around and I haven't actually been able to find a, like, an actual legitimate entrance to this thing. So I'm gonna do what I would do if I found this in a random cave. I'm gonna go into survival mode here and I'm gonna break in. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break in and, uh, ooh boy. Right, so, yep, Minecraft Trials Edition, nice, okay. So there's the spawner, and immediately those start attacking me, so that's wonderful. I love that. And that, ooh, that's the new breeze, I haven't played with that either. I thought that was a mini spider, but that's just a bat. Okay, so this is cool. I am going to think that I'm not gonna just jump down there, but I'm gonna take in this. So, a bunch of tough, so these are new tough bricks, uh, blocks, I believe. All these lanterns, absolutely love them. Haven't actually been playing with any of these new blocks whatsoever. Oh dear, hello. Right, copper bulb. Interesting. Interesting how it's on now, or on before, and not now. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to jump down here and take a punch here. Man, he's tough. Okay, and that's water. That's, wow, this is interesting. Okay, this is a lot tougher than I expected it to be. Okay, let's try and get this guy out of the picture, if at all possible, because he is really disorientated. Not so much damaging, but like really disorientated. Oh, you can't actually use the bow on him. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, dear me. Okay, I need to get you out of the game. I need to get you out of here, Charlie. Yep, okay. Eat up, heal. I don't know if the shield actually like... There we go, he's gone. And another one spawns in. Okay, so I don't know how many mobs actually are in like these spawners oh oh that was cool this feel this is a really interactive fight honestly with the breeze i feel okay so with that we get a key it looks like yep a trial key i assume that it is the same over here nope we got some chicken okay you know what i'll have some chicken right now <laughs> and what is this then oh it interacts when you get close to it indicating that the key goes there okay that's cool so this dispenser has a water bucket in it. That's probably going to be very helpful, actually. This has fire charges in it. Also, you can use those in the fight, maybe. Snowballs. Okay. I'm just gonna give myself some blocks here. And we're gonna get up to this thing. And we're gonna insert the key and see what happens. So, under lock. Unlock a vault with a trial key. Maybe I need to 
Okay, it doesn't seem like that I can actually do anything with that. So maybe I need a different key. So we're going to continue. Maybe this is like the final room of the vault or the, the trial chambers. That could be. This is a path leading into to this thing. So yeah, this could very well actually be the final chamber of this place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bridge up here. Again, I looked for an official entrance, but I couldn't actually find one. So I don't know if I missed one or if it's supposed to be there or if it's not supposed to be there. But again, this is how I would go ahead and tackle one of these if I found it in survival mode. I would need to. Whoop, OK, <laughs> I would need to just go in here if I can't find the entrance because I can't keep looking around it to be able to find it. So this is part of it. Oh, forgot to re equip the shield. Get rid of you and get rid of you. OK, Ama is taking a beating for sure. Ooh, a speed potion. Okay, that's actually really, really cool. Really careful the both though. So I think that is everything in this specific chamber tackled. So what I'm gonna do now is fail that water clutch, but you won't you'll ignore that. And we'll go through to the next chamber. And I like how all of this is actually like lit up, so I don't have to worry about torches. I hear a witch, that's not a good sign. Man, this place is massive. Ooh, barrel. Better not be trapped. Ender pearl, tough, and iron axe. Okay. I kind of want to collect all of this stuff because, oh, that's even loot in this. I want to collect everything if I can. I'll even summon in a, um, uh, what's it called? A shulker box, just so I can actually keep a tab on all the stuff that we're actually going to be getting in this because I want to see what the overall result is going to be once we're done. Even emeralds. Nice. Okay, so there's an upstairs. Pretty sure these are like summoners because the pattern there. There's some more of these, which I keep missing, apparently. This is a door and there's also stuff on top. There's another thing there for using a key. Last time I used a key, nothing actually happened. This is staircase going down. OK, we'll cover the top part first. At least that's the plan anyway. Uh, there's plenty more of these. Definitely will break these. Oh, hello. OK, let's do this. Skeleton. I can deal with skeletons fairly easily. Imagine if there was a skeleton boss in one of these. That would be kind of cool, actually, like a more tanky skeleton. I know the poison one is there, so I guess that kind of uh, maybe counts as that. Let's get rid of you. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. And we got some loot. I heard uh, some cooked potato. I'll take some cooked potatoes. So far, I haven't been needing my golden apples, which is cool. And another one. And I believe Okay, that's a zombie one, and of course it has to be zombie babies. Don't like those. They're very tanky. Not tanky, just difficult to hit, essentially. But I like it. It's a challenge. Oh, okay. Guess we're going down. <laughs> I have my big potato now. And we got another key. Okay, so we have two trial keys now. Yeah, I'll definitely be needing like a shulker box or something for all of this stuff. And there's another upstairs. And this basically just goes all the way around. Okay. Yeah, I made it. So if I want to go to this, right, I can not actually like use the key, which I find a little bit odd. So from what I can tell, this thing is supposed to open when I like use the key, but nothing actually works. So I don't know if it's the wrong key, but it shouldn't be. But I'm just going to continue on here and see what what's going to happen. All right, doors wise, we're going to go in this direction first and see what we're going to get. So this leads on over to another thing here. I like how all this is copper. This is going to be quite popular when it comes to <laughs> people wanting to use copper in builds. So that's cool. That's a way a uh, natural question mark way of getting it just like nether bricks. I like that. There we go. There's a breeze here. Got to take care of that. Oh boy. And it's running. A it's actually running away. Wow, and it's breaking. Is it? Oh, this is trapped. Oh, hello. This is trapped. OK, interesting. Come on, spawn in. Oh, we get another key. Nice. We can summon you in. Oh, you are husks. OK, don't really want to get hit by you too much because that's hunger and you're tough. And what do we get in reward? Some chicken. I'll take some chicken. That's actually very fitting. And this leads down. This is a maze, but I like it. Wait, is this a? Did they implement a parkour? They actually implemented a parkour thing. I get it now. So I thought something was off. I think I had the wrong key. Yep. 
so the the bronze question mark or the the copper one gives us a key so this is ominous bottle so this will give us bad omen which i think will make it tougher in the trial chambers and maybe give a little bit more loot i'm not 100 percent sure about that i read about it uh but i didn't read much okay this is one big uh, uh, uh maze let's see what we get here i just remember it, it was useful the the bad omen thingy emeralds and golden carrots i mean so far the loot is actually pretty good like it's not overpowered it's not unbalanced it's pretty balanced I'd say anyway. Okay, so all of this is like traps and I didn't find this. Oh dear. Can't that can't be happening. That's not good. So you need the right key to like oh that was a that was a nice hole. So you need the right key in order to like get the the right vault. So I need a blue key for the stuff in there. But I think that's it for this one. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else around here. <laughs> I love that there's a parkour. I'm gonna go back now. Go back up this and then Take the other stair down. So just to remember I've been there, I'm going to place cobblestone like that. There's a path there as well I haven't gone yet. But we're going to take the doors first to begin with. I assume this is going to go down to... Okay, not the same... Uh, Not the same, like, challenge room. Okay. Uh, ow. I hate baby zombies. Hate baby zombies. Hate ba You know what? No. I'm not... <laughs> I was about to say I'm not going to deal with this, but I'm definitely having to deal with this. This is not ideal. Get up. <laughs> All right. Come at me then. Interesting. So there are two vaults in here. This one seems more special. I think that's the one that requires like the blue key or the soul flame key or whatever it's going to be called. This one is just, oh, well, I don't have one now. How many baby zombies are there in this? Come on now. All right, let's make a path up to there and that's down there. Okay. What do we get? Some chicken and another key. Yeah, so this is just called the trial key, which fits into this very conveniently. Honey, arrows. I mean, we like honey. And I'm going to assume that this one... Yeah, that's the blue one. Interesting. I wonder when or how I get that. And this one is a copper one, but I don't have a copper trial key yet. I'm going to call it that for now, just so I, like... At least I know the difference between it. <laughs> okay, but that seems like this room done. So I need to remember, not that one I've already taken, but I need to remember if I get a spare trial key, I can go and get that. And blue is in here. So I'll try and indicate that upstairs here. So cobblestone like that, but this indicates that there's actually something of interest in there. And finally, then, uh, finally, this is only the beginning of this place. Oh dear me, this is huge. Another copper door. Barrel and some beds. A diamond pit. Wow. And some beds so I can, you know, set my spawn. In fact, that's a good idea. <laughs> There we go. That is set. I didn't even think of that. That is uh, good. And again, this is blue. So that's interesting. We can go that way or this way. Both seem interesting. But I'm going to go in this direction first. So that's a copper key. Another water bucket. Another one of those. So this is basically just loot waiting in here. So I have to go in this direction. And this seems like a room. Okay, I'm going to indicate this way for going back to where it began. And the pearls, like and the pearls, like getting the tough. Definitely like all of these. That's a chamber for sure. Really like these because you get a bunch of stuff. In fact, I get a lot of things. What's in this? Arrows. Okay, so that is spawning stuff in. Plenty of loot up here as well. Another axe uh, with mending. Wow. Ow. Hold on though. I want to see what's up on top before I go ahead and battle you guys. Okay, so this is identical to the other room that we were in with even more doors. Okay, oh, no, no, no. Why couldn't it be normal zombies? I want normal zombies. I guess it has to be a trial chamber, right? Okay, we got another trial key and another trial key in this one. So we have two in total now. That's beautiful. So we could technically go back and unlock those other ones if we wanted to. I'm hearing another one popping off, but I don't know where that is. There's also a skeleton over here. Not sure where you spawned in from. Ah, the upstairs of the upstairs. That makes sense. With another door. Man, this place is ginormous. Um, also, oh, that's where you guys come from. Oh, oh, okay. That's great. And for this one, we get another potato. Oh, a baby one. Are you serious? Okay, and we get another potato. Big potato, I should say. Okay, before continuing any further, let's take a look at this staircase leading up. And I'll let you know how long this has taken me as well at the end of this. Because I think that would be quite interesting. Oh, dear me. 
This is... <laughs> this is deep. I like using the strategy of taking one chamber, or not one chamber, but one spawner at, at a time. Because I think if I ran to all the different spawners at once, things could get quite hectic quickly. I like the use of like magma blocks as well to like add even more of a challenge. Like, hey, if you stand there, you're gonna take damage. So don't stand there. I am in this room though, because it's pretty big. I'm just gonna run around and summon a bunch of stuff in. Because I'm I'm a pro like that, you know. Okay, this is quite this is quite hectic actually when you like get to battling it like this. With the multiple different mobs trying to attack you, your hunger going down, that thing keeps jumping back and forth. It's tough. It's actually a challenge. And I love this breeze. The battle with it is really like interactive because it has like different, I guess, modes in a way. Okay, and we get another trial key there and a trial key here and a couple thing there. I'll get back to that because I want my chicken. The inventory does get quite full quickly though. That is one thing. So you do need a bunch of storage if you really want to keep everything that you find, which I kind of want to do in this, uh, this case. But you could obviously drop things like the bows and whatnot. Okay, let's use that there. Get some loot. Nice. An enchanted book. What's that? Channeling. Okay, not too bad. What is this going to do? Nothing. Okay, I guess that could maybe have water in it or something. Okay, there we go. And I like you actually have to get close to it. More bad omen. Maybe that a diamond axe. Viciously one. Not bad. So this one is a bad omen one. I believe the other one was a bad omen two. And again, this is going to be like a blue key, I suppose. Yep, again, that's a blue key, not something we can actually open. So again, this place is a point of interest if slash when we get a blue key. I don't know if you can actually make it or you have to get it somewhere. Okay, another one of these where it's basically just loot. Let's do that. Another water bucket. That's cool. Some stuff there. Oh, Okay, so we get some wind charges and we get a crossbow with unbreaking one. And there is actually a summon in here. Okay, let's deal with this. Oh, there was some up here as well. Okay, this quickly. Oh, wow. This is this, okay. Yeah, this is going to be a thing. Okay, a little bit in trouble here. Let's uh, got to step back. Take this key. Look at all this. Okay, okay, okay. I can't even get up here. Hold up. Get away. Oh. Chicken. <laughs> Yay. And another key. That is good. Give me that. Need to get rid of you, fellas. Really need to get rid of you. Okay. And another key. Okay. Good. And another key. Very good. Okay. Good. Ooh. You can get those things. Okay. Smithing template. Bolt armor trim. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to try and use the axe now, actually. And again, this is a blue key. Okay. All right, and that was it from this chamber. We got all this loot, very nice. Once again, this place is marked as completed, but not fully completed yet. Never mind switching back to the axe for dealing with these fellas, because they are just a pain. They are really painful to deal with. I said really, really painful to deal with. What, you, you jumped? You, you jumped. You actually, actually jumped. Hello, this is, I'm in trouble here. <laughs> get okay okay he actually jumped to get that what is that new okay all right got a key got some chicken very nice the mining goods and a diamond axe unbreaking one and efficiency two nice a trident oh now that's that's valuable that's rare that's like really really good and once again i can't get this thing i'm hoping i'll get answers to that eventually Ah, okay, so if I went ahead and drank this, I would have a 30, from my understanding in a way, a 30% chance of getting an ominous trial key, in which case I would be able to unlock the blue, oh, the blue ones, and this is a lot tougher. Okay, so, oh, I love this mechanic. Absolutely love this mechanic. So, what, what was, the, what? I'm so confused, very confused. So this is tougher. What did I get? I, I don't know what I got. I actually don't know what I got. <laughs> uh, that was a bit creepy, not gonna lie. But so if you are able to get that bad omen thing effect, I think pillagers have a chance of um, dropping them as well. Oh no, this was a mistake. So basically, if you can get it, get away. If you can get it, then you have a chance of being able to like get more loot from these trial chambers. 
and it could be a good idea to take it like beforehand because now when i enter any of the other trial rooms that i have already unlocked well basically i need to fight all the mobs again but if you have the bad omen the, the spawns get tougher because these guys have armor and and definitely that's diamond armor i definitely have a harder time here that's for sure are like gonna finish or am i missing something oh i'm missing something okay <laughs> Okay, for this one I got Rotten Flesh. I don't understand what I'm missing with this. It's like I'm missing a mob or something. Off which I am. There we go. <laughs> and some baked potatoes. Okay, I'll keep running with the bad omen until I get that thing, that key. Oh, that's a face, isn't it? That's a f that's a face. A creepy face, but it's a face. Okay, we're in a interesting place. We got some stuff here we'll check out afterwards we got a tree we got some chests we got some sticks honeycomb this would make sense i'll take one next why not and up here we have a normal trial key thing we'll take it a diamond Ooh, and a shield that's actually not so bad now what is this gonna entail ah huh, that's a nice little little way to go but if i'm not mistaken i think i have actually gone through the entire trial chamber if i'm not mistaken because i don't think there's any more paths that i haven't explored yet oh hello yeah okay yep yeah, yep yeah. for now all i really want is going to get that soul key then i can drink some milk <laughs> and get rid of this so they don't spawn in in every single room again and run flesh okay well, I guess we might as well take one of these from the beginning. I love the sound effects as well. It is so cool. And beef. I'll take some beef. Okay, for this, I'm going to try and switch to my axe here. There go. That's a skeleton. Need to go ahead and get rid of you. You die. Nope, you're just hiding. Get rid of you. And you guys are spawning in as well. That's fine. Oh, dear. <laughs> this is tough. Get back here. This is... Wow. And this guy has a diamond helmet on. Wow. Okay. Ooh, there we go. We got it. We actually got it. Ominous trial key. Let's go. Some baked potatoes as well. So that's kind of cool. So if you if you can if you want to kind of farm this. Oh, oh I did that all over the place. If you kinda of want to farm this, then you can go through this place, loot it with like without any bad omen. Then you can get bad omen afterwards and loot through it again if you want to. Now I'm gonna drink this milk. If I just quickly switch to this uh, creative here and go to bad omen so you have different variations of bad omen i had bad omen one if i take bad omen three for example and if i take it now will the spawner spawn back in like that is my that's my question essentially so if i drink this now now i have bad omen again oh but it's not level three and they don't spawn back in okay that's interesting what is then the point of having bad omen five versus having bad omen one for example maybe it's a bug or maybe it just doesn't show here in this thing i'll quickly i have the key well i have it for an hour and 40 minutes so what i'll actually do is i'll open this first then i'll go to another room to see what we if there's any difference in the mobs interesting okay so a little bit of uh, loot change there but not a whole lot so again what i have now is bad omen five and i'm guessing but the point of it is that Bad Omen 5 is going to be a lot tougher to deal with than Bad Omen 1. Okay, spawning in. And we need to see if we notice any difference in like the armor and stuff. Doesn't look like it by just this. Who actually jumped to try and get to me? That has to be new. Or maybe it's just the baby zombies that does that and I haven't noticed before. Okay, well, that is troubling. I should have had lava. Actually, kind of crouching and staying in one corner kind of helps a little. Where are you? Kind of helps a little bit. I need to heal. I'm going to pop a golden apple here just because I can. Give me the edge. But it's not needed. Golden, golden apples are definitely not needed. Unless you have like maybe, uh, I don't know, iron armor or something. And get into a lot of trouble. Hmm, what's this? Regeneration. Maybe the loot of the spawner, of the normal spawners as well is different. I don't know. But anyway, we have one more of these uh, keys here. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to fight... Ooh, banner pattern. I'm not going to fight every single uh, type of chamber again. Windburst. I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a bunch of keys and go to all the rooms, basically, that I didn't go to before. And unlock the, the soul... Uh, 
and, and unlock the soul like things there. Okay, I definitely feel like the loot is better in, in these. I mean, it would make sense, but this is a full block of iron and I also got two diamonds from it as well. That isn't too bad in my opinion. Also feel like you can get like higher amounts of stuff like the emeralds right there. I feel like with the other ones, you won't be getting like nine emeralds at a time. I like the fact that there are beds in here and four beds as well, indicating that, hey, do this with your friends as well. And also, I believe with these, the more people that you are. Oh, oh, that's huge. But like the more people. Oh, well, yeah, that's <laughs> that's a very nice loot. The more people you are, the more difficult it's going to actually be, which I really like. And it appears that I completely missed this wing as well. So I guess that I do have to fight this because I want to get all the loot from it. Ooh, channeling and bad omen again. And we haven't actually taken this one yet. So let me fight through this real quick and I'll be right back with you. It's one of these that's gonna be really tough. Huh, right from this one. Huh, cool. Okay, so I'm just in creative here and they are not actually burned out. So if I were in survival without bad omen, I'm pretty sure these guys would spawn back in. So I, I've been at this for like 50 minutes. So that seems really cool. These are not back yet, though. And why on earth did I mark this room? That's not a ominous thing. Oh, 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 there is. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, it's behind this. So you kind of have to break in together. OK, I like that. Diamond chestplate enchanted as well. Not bad. Another enchanted golden apple, diamond, emerald. Nice. That is <laughs> that's really good. Another enchanted diamond chest plate, which just got deleted because my inventory is full and I'm in creative. Oopsie. I'm going to start deleting some of these bows because <laughs> it's a lot. And then finally, this is the room that we started in. Again, as you can see, these side spawners are actually active. So if I was in survival, well, it would be an interesting time. This is the final one. And hopefully nothing will get deleted. And on the two diamond chest plate, not bad. All right, so we are outside again. This is where we started, and this is where we are now. I should get back into survival mode. Uh, that, 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 ignore that. <laughs> Let's place this down. So this is all of our loot, with a fourth one being added, because this is all our loot. Not that, but this. And wow, is it a good haul. Like, those are mine. That isn't. This is some good, good stuff. Actually, let me try and let me clear my inventory and let me try. First of all, take a look at this. So my armor is an absolute it has taken a beating. And if I hadn't had Unbreaking 3, I don't know if this armor would have survived, to be completely honest. Uh, the sword is fine, but still this and also I wasn't really using the bow because it wasn't really useful against the, the chart. What, what are they called? The breeze, there we go. You can't actually use arrows on the breach, the breeze, which I really like. So I didn't really get to use the bow, but just using the sword primarily. But I'm going to delete this now and I'm going to organize things just so we have a little bit better of an overview. All right, I have tried organizing this in a way that kind of makes sense. So in this one is all the generic quote unquote items, things that are not really super cool, but they're not bad either, like getting a bunch of bricks. Who wants to actually go ahead and smelt clay? Getting a little bit of tough, some bones, can be used for bone meals, arrows, really cool, uh, arrow of poison as well, nice. Um, so this is this, this stuff. Then in here is all the gear and it did definitely get better at it towards the end. We have some iron armor with some of these, um, uh, the trims, which maybe you want to repair to actually keep that trim. So that could be valuable. We got a diamond uh, pickaxe here. We got an enchanted axe, two axes. In fact, we got the trident, which I think is probably the most valuable thing in here. Uh, that's my shield, my bad. <laughs> Uh, two diamond chest plates enchanted, a bunch of uh, enchanted iron axes as well, uh, enchanted books, and a bunch of used arrows, but that is obviously from the actual um, skeletons. And I think these shields, they were from the like the reward things as well, and a bunch of crossbows. So all in all, that is pretty good, especially, especially if we take a look in here. So nine diamonds, almost two stacks of emeralds, half a stack of iron, a little bit of gold, a little bit of copper, some amethyst, three ender pearls, and then, of course, the breeze rods and the wind charges and five lapis from all the like the, the pots and stuff, which uh, also you get a bunch of pottery shards if you break them. Uh, we got a smithing template, some banner patterns, all of which are flow, apparently. Uh, we got a speed potion, regeneration potion, honey bottles and a bunch of food, namely two enchanted golden apples, which are like 
I don't know, huge. And then, of course, we got some ominous bottles as well, one of which I did drink. And we only did like half the vault with uh, ominous mode. If we had continued, we would have probably gotten even more diamond gear and more emeralds and maybe even more diamonds and stuff. So all in all, that is pretty good. And it took me again, like about 50 minutes to go through this entire thing. And this beginning is already like ready to run again. So I could, in theory, grab my gear again, drink one of these and then head back in. The only thing that I think might be a bug is the fact that uh, having Bad Omen 5 is basically the same as having Bad Omen 1. That doesn't really make sense to me, but I assume that that is a bug or me that has misunderstood something. And so what I want to do now is kind of just go through, make sure I actually did miss a room, didn't I? I did miss this room. This room I have not been in yet. So we have some more loot here, more loot there. Definitely a lot of... Uh, spawners in this one in the middle here so even more loot than what we already had uh so i did miss a place at least one place i think yeah i've been through this i think i've been through pretty much all the other stuff you can see my towers of uh cobblestone here and there yeah i think i've been pretty much everywhere else from what i can tell and so this does confirm as well like if you just manage to find like one of these rooms like if you just manage to find a wall of it you don't need to actually find an entrance. You just go ahead and start, well, fighting. <laughs> fighting and trialing. Um, so yeah. So that was my first experience with the trial chambers. And it's I'm very, very positive with this. I think it is really, really cool. It definitely adds more excitement to the already brand new caves, which I say brand new, but we've gotten them. We've had them for quite a while now, but... It's already exciting, like going caving now with these new caves. Um, and with these, the excitement just gets better because when you actually find one of these, you're like, oh, wow, this is actually really cool because it is. You have to actually fight for it. But the reward is it overpowered, but it al it's also not too little. Like I would do it for this stuff. You know, I, I think it would be really cool. And again, I did it with protection uh, the three and run breaking three diamond armor. If you do it in iron, it's going to be a tough challenge as well. So the less gear you have, the more challenging it's going to be. But especially in the early game, are you going to risk it for like the stuff? I think I would if I had iron armor. I think I would try and go for it. And the loot, I don't think it's too OP. I think the loot is pretty good. And also, I can see a lot of people actually going through this and stripping it apart to like get all the tough blocks. But most importantly, the copper, because it's a pain to oxidize. So I can see a lot of people trying to find these to get the copper. And do I think that is like too easy to get the copper? No, because you still have to fight your way through these and get it before the spawners are like back to to being active again. So you have to you, you have to do this well. Or I think can you break the spawners? I actually don't know if you can break the spawners. Uh, I don't know actually. Let's try this. I'm gonna do it over here where another skeleton is not looking at me. Uh, potentially gonna kill me. Uh, so I'll mode. You can't break it. It looks like anyway. Yeah, no. No, th this. Oh, you, you do get a little bit of breaking animation there in the center, but man, does it take some time. Like, so you, you might be able to since the animation comes up, but it, it's gonna it's gonna take ages. So no, I don't think it's uh, too easy to get the copper. <laughs> not with that in mind. So guys, that was me trying the trial chambers for the very first time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you saw it done in survival for the first time. Maybe it'll give you an idea of how it's going to be in the future. Maybe you already knew and I've gotten like 70 corrections down below in the comments. Either way, I'm happy. And I learned a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. It greatly helps out the channel. If you're brand new, consider subscribing for more videos and content if you'd like to enjoy this one. Also, feel free to join my Discord server, link down below in the description. And if you want to go even further with your support, I do have a Patreon page down below in the description if that is something for you. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.